the night, 7.30 at the Mid-South Coliseum. Eight big matches coming up down here. And, yeah. Corey, look at this opener right here. Candyman uh, against Leatherface. Yeah, that very weird Leatherface. I remember him with a chainsaw and all yeah. of that sort of thing. Yeah, this will the desk be the on. opener. Yeah, he sure did. Yeah. Uh, here are a few words from the Candyman about that one. All right. Hey, I'm a happy man today, baby. Yes, I am. I know y'all wonder what Reggie be fine doing out here in this gimmick like this. Hey, but you know what, baby? I am the candy man. I done changed my ways. You know what? On a serious tip, I'm going to tell y'all a little story. About a week or two ago, I was walking down the street, and this little boy came up to me. He said, tell me, why why you so dirty? Why you be doing people so wrong? You know, I done did a lot of things in the past that was real bad, you understand? But now, I done changed my ways, baby. I'm the candy man. I'm just as happy as I want to be. But, back to my story. The reason I say that, the little boy came up to me, he said, why you do what, all the things that you do? Well, I said, I tell you what. Come and go to the wrestle with me sometime, you'll see. He said, I'll tell you what, on one condition, you come and go to church with me. See, you never write until you write with the man upstairs. And I have seen the light. I'm talking about everywhere I go from here on out, it's going to be candy. I'm talking about candy for the kids. I don't care if I got to go to the mall, to the hospital. Wherever I go, it's going to be candy. I'm the candy man. Oh, I feel good now, y'all. I'm the candy man, baby. Yes, yes. The candy man. candy man, Reggie B. Fine, says yeah. he's changed. Says he's seen the light and he's changed. We'll, so we'll see, see about that. Okay, Tony Falk will be going against JT. Uh, oh, oh, I beg your pardon. He black will be cat. going against the black cat in this match. Yeah. Hmm, got a little bit of a change there from what I've got. That uh, that looks mighty interesting. Tony yeah. Falk, Eric's driver, coming up in a single match. Following that one, it's going to be Dr. Tom Pritchard. He will be going against the Sandman. This yeah should be an interesting match too following that the world tag titles are on the line we just got a look at him a moment ago there's a tennessee stud robert fuller and mike mitchell young gun will be his partner as they try to take those belts away from masters and sawyer the masters. world title on the line yeah masters and sawyer have held those titles for some time dave and they're a formidable team and they're going to try to hold on to a monday night and here's what yeah. they had to say about monday night's match robert fuller these tag team straps mean we are the best tag team in the world. You can look high, Big Daddy. You can look low, but you ain't never going to find anybody, anywhere, anytime, any place that can beat the bad boy and the pretty boy because we're the baddest two kids on the block. Ain't that right, bad boy? Let me tell you something. We come to USWA and we've been kicking butt and taking names. We've defended these belts all over the Tennessee area. And like he said, Robert Fuller, I don't know what kind of partner you're going to get. And let me tell you something, you better watch your back. Because we might be coming from all angles. They got a name for you in the greatest wrestling tag team of all time. They don't call you a good wrestling tag team. They call you the pretty boy, the bad boy, the world tag team champions. Be us if you can. Masters and Sawyer do, in fact, have the world tag team titles. You saw those belts they had right there. Robert Fuller and his partner, Young Gun, Mike Mitchell, will be trying to take the belts away from them come Monday night. Then in the next one, it's going to be Jeff Jarrett Ooh. stepping into the ring against Nate the Rat's Grave Digger. Big single match coming up here. Jeff has uh, said, I'm on a quest to win the Southern title, and then I'm going for that unified belt, which, of course, is held by the king. And in order to get that Southern title, he has to work his way up in the ranking since he's been wrestling tag teams along. He was way down in the single ranking. 38th last week. Yes, he was. And uh, he has got to work his way up, and he's got to get past this very large grave digger. Here's Nate the Rat with some words about that match. There are many ways to prepare a man for his grave. Jeff Jarrett, there are many ways to prepare a man for his grave. But the most fun is cremation. <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, Nate the Rat with a grave digger against Jeff Jarrett. Next match is going to be a trash can match. Eric Embry will be having to face... The spirit. spirit of America, and I bet the spirit will have that big red, white, and blue trash can at ringside, and he is going to be looking to stuff Eric Embry into the trash can. That is going to be some kind of match. Embry against the spirit of America. Following that, the world unified title is going to be on the line. Jerry the King Lawler will have to defend it against Kamala. He, he has is. seen Kamala before. Yeah, the Ugandan giant is challenging the king for that title, and... Boy, they've had some tough bouts in their time, too. Here's what the king thinks about this one. 
You know, I am really looking forward to Monday night. It's going to be a big one. As you can see, the fireworks are going to be flying Monday night. I can assure you of that. Now, I'm sure most people are sitting there thinking, how could you be looking forward to having to step in the ring with Kamala, the Ugandan giant? How could you look forward to getting in the ring with a guy that stands about six foot four and weighs well over 300 pounds? How could you, how could you really be anticipating something like that with glee? Well, I'll tell you why. Because that's what this competition is all about. That's what this World Heavyweight Championship belt is all about. I'm not, I'm not wanting to put this belt on the line against just any Tom, Dick, and Harry. I want to put it on the line against the best. Because I've gone all over the country, no, all over the world, and I've told everybody that I am the true, one and only true World Heavyweight Champion. And this is just another opportunity to prove it. Because Kamala the Ugandan Giant has been in every federation, and he has beaten all the top contenders all over the world. Well, when I beat him, or if I just am able to hang on to this belt in a match with him, then that just goes to further prove what I've been saying. This is the true World Heavyweight Championship belt. The one and only World Heavyweight Championship belt. And Kamala the Ugandan Giant, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I am really looking forward to Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. I had one of the first matches with him when he came to the United States, and this may be your last match, Kamala. I remember well when J.J. Dillon brought Kamala in here. He is back, he is tough, and he is looking for that world title, which is held by the king. The title will be on the line Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. But that's not all. Thanksgiving week coming up. And as turkey. a special result, Monday night, there's going to be a turkey match. Yeah. Well, I hear some music here. Maybe we can find out a little bit more. You see the folks who are going to be involved in the turkey match. Kamala, Tony Falk, Eric Embry, the grave digger on one side. Jeff J. 